Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. Oh, boy, I hate to say this, but I really have to leave now. That's all right. I understand. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Don't be sorry. We'll talk later. I am thinking about inviting you to a dinner. When would you have time? And what kind of food do you fancy? That would be great. I am really in the mood for a spicy hot pot. Any special reason for the invitation? To thank you for helping me at work last week. If you would not have been so kind, I would not have been able to pick my parents from the airport. You really did me a big favor. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. How about this evening? I feel very hungry now. Fine. I know a good hot pot place in the downtown area. Food there is pretty spicy too. Shall we try that one? Okay with me. You are the boss. I will meet you downstairs after work. Do you want to go shopping with me? That's a good idea. What time is good for you? How about Saturday morning? Sounds good. So you're traveling around the world, aren't you? That's right. When did you arrive here? Last night. Did you have a good journey? Yes, I enjoyed it very much. Where have you been on this trip? Let me see. Ah, yes, I've been to England, France, Germany, Italy and now I've been in Spain. Really? How long will your holiday last? Two weeks. All these countries in two weeks? That's right. Tell me something about your Valentine's Day. Okay. On that day, boys usually give roses to the sweethearts and girls give them chocolate in return. So romantic. Young people must have lot of fun. Yeah, that is what the holiday is for, isn't it? The dinner was really good. It knocked my socks off. That's very kind of you to say so. Let's try some after-dinner wines. Great. Sweet wines are my favorite. They always make a great finish to a decisions meal. Do you prefer brandy or ports? Port, please. Excellent choice. I love its smooth flavor. The port is quite exquisite. It must have spent years aging in barrels. Am I right? Yes. You always have a good nose for wines. Next time we are about to dinner we should try some Canadian ice wine. Oh. What's that? It's made from naturally frozen grapes. Why not? It sounds great. Okay, here's to your health. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Mike, you're 17 years old, right? Yeah, why? You look quite mature beside your cousin who is 18. You can bet on that. The show will be starting in a few minutes. We'd better go in and find our seats. Number 7 and 9 of the row 11 in the stalls, aren't they? That's right. This entrance is for even numbers. That entrance over there is for odd numbers. Let's go over there. What a nice theater. I guess it can seat hundreds of people. Maybe you are right. 
Look, it's begin. Well, how did you like the show? It's so interesting. I like it very much. Come in, come in. Hi, Gary, what happened? I was waiting for you at the theater. Why didn't you meet me there? I thought we were supposed to meet here. Don't you know our movie starts at 7? And we were going to meet at the theater at 5 to 7. Then it doesn't make sense to meet at the apartment. I'm sorry. We must have misunderstood each other. Why don't you try to be clearer about your intentions? You're right. I am sorry. Let's go and watch the movie. It's okay. I don't want to go now. We've already missed 10 minutes of the movie. I don't want to see a movie without watching the beginning. Guess who I saw yesterday? I don't know. Who? Avril Lavigin. The Canadian rock singer? But I heard you had a part-time job yesterday. How did you see her? Yeah. I worked as temporary staff in her concert. Look, her poster, a CD. So you're a big fan, eh? Not really. But I like some of her songs. She's actually very talented. She's a songwriter and fashion designer, too. And she was in a movie once again, right? Yeah. Though I don't think her acting skills are that great. What was your impression of her when you saw her in person? She looked sweeter than her pictures. Did you take a photo with her? No, there were too many people. When she got out of the car, her fans were all screaming, trying to give her flowers and to get her autographs. Crazy. Hello, Grace. That's a beautiful skirt you have on. Where are you going? I am going to attend an interview. What kind of job are you applying for? My major is English. Of course I'll apply for an English teacher. Oh, that dress doesn't exactly match the job. Why? You said my skirt was beautiful just now. Yes, your skirt is really beautiful, but you are applying for a teaching position. You see, your skirt is very short, and your makeup is too thick. What's more? The color of your lipstick doesn't match your skin. As a teacher, you should be a little more sedate. Then what should I do? Some of my friends tell me that being a teacher, the most important is the beauty of mind. You shouldn't pay too much attention to your appearance. You should appear frugal and prudent. Your experience and knowledge will gain the appreciation of your interviewer. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.